Joe Biden should be fighting fit. It's an election year after all, and the president's legacy is on the line. But instead of showing strength and leadership for his nation and the world during these uncertain times, Joe Biden has been weak and incompetent, and voters are starting to catch on. Sky News All-Stars Rita Panahi, Douglas Murray and James Morrow exposed Joe Biden's latest gaffes that have left even his biggest supporters realising that this may be the end of the road for the struggling president. The United States just celebrated one of their favourite events, Super Bowl Sunday, and in true Biden form, he found a way to make it cringe, says Sky News All-Star Rita Panahi. Now to the US, and uh, US President Joe Biden is uh, at it again. Instead of doing a Super Bowl interview, he decided to post this video on Twitter, X, blaming companies for shrinking the size of their products. The Super Bowl Sunday, if you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips. But they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. It's a ripoff. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public is tired of being played for suckers. I'm calling on companies to put a stop to this. Let's make sure businesses do the right thing now. Oh gosh, he looks so old and frail. He's barely making it through a pre-recorded uh, speech from an auto queue uh, and it's complaining there about shrinkflation. I mean, it's Bidenomics that is uh, causing many of the issues in the economy. Um, what do you think? How do you think that will be received? Uh, to me, that doesn't exactly fill you with confidence that he is a virile, healthy, cognitively sound president. No, no, absolutely not. My, my first thought when I saw it, honestly, Rita, was is this one of those deep fake AI things? Have they put words in his mouth? It, oh. does, it just <laughs> no. seems so improbable. And, and I think that, you know, a lot of Americans, I'm sure, will see it like me. Is this really what we want our president to be focused on right now, the size of a packet of chips? You know, is it really the sort of thing that he should be obsessing over and speaking to the nation about? You know, when, the, when we've got the threat of China looming, we've got this volatile situation in the Middle East, we've got the Ukraine and everything else that's going on. I, I just think that he's, he's, he should be doing something else. But of course, I guess it really doesn't matter because it's obvious that he's not in control of the White House. And um, the real question is who is pulling the strings while Biden gets out there and fluffs his lines? And just a day later, President Biden was back on the road, this time meeting with the King of Jordan. But it was a mess. Let me start by welcoming His Majesty, the King of Jordan. He's been a good friend. Abdul, welcome back to the White House, man. Welcome back. And by the way, Barack's looking at you in the corner over there. And along with Queen Rihanna, who is uh, meeting with Jill now, and the Queen and the Crown Prince Hussein. Where is the Prince out there? I thought he was coming out. At any rate, Your Majesty, over to you. Mr. Mr. President. Arguably, Biden's biggest stuff-up of the year so far was his diabolical press conference intended to defend himself following the DOJ classified documents probe, but ended in chaos, explains Sky News All-Star Douglas Murray. 
Douglas, let's start with what could be the end of Joe Biden's run for re-election. A special counsel report found he willfully retained and disclosed classified documents at his home, but no charges were recommended because the 81-year-old commander-in-chief is greatly diminished mentally. The report not only noted Biden's diminished faculties and lack of mental state of willfulness, but it also noted Joe Biden couldn't even remember when he was vice president. So he's too diminished to stand trial, but he can run the most powerful country in the world? I know. It, it, it was an astonishing uh, revelation, this, Rita. It came out late yesterday and uh, it just... Many people said immediately, well, that's it. Clearly, the Democrats are trying to finally push Joe Biden off the nomination ticket because this this revelation, as it were, from within, it's not it's not coming from the Republicans, uh, this revelation that during his questioning, he couldn't remember when, which years he'd been vice president. He couldn't remember, I think, when he'd, the year he'd run for president. And it was clear they, they didn't want to go ahead because uh, a, a jury would find that he had not enough cognitive ability to 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 talk about his own uh, experience and the idea that this same man is in the most powerful position in the world is something which is just it's a scandal you and i have talked about before the democrats have clearly been trying to cover it over they've been hoping he'll get better um or something like that or become less noticeable and they can just they can just allow him to to roll on and and the fact is that again we saw this only in in the press conference he gave to say in response to these revelations, no, I'm okay. During the press conference, he said he just had a conversation with President Sisi of of, um, of Mexico. Um, <laughs> and um, as you know, President Sisi is not president of Mexico. It's uh, He's president of Egypt. No. But uh, there was a time when you just said that was a normal Biden gaffe. But now it looks, now it looks like it's not just a normal Biden gaffe. It's really rather sad. Sky News All-Star James Morrow raised questions of Biden's leadership abilities in light of the findings by special counsel Robert Herr and gaffes during his subsequent press conference. This is really grim because Joe Biden, we are told, is simultaneously too addled to prosecute, but also entirely compassmentous enough to run the country. Mm -hmm. And insanely, when he decided against what I can only presume was the advice of every White House employer from the chief of staff down to the janitor, he managed to prove her point, or at least half of it. Because he didn't seem amiable at all at his press conference on Friday. In fact, he got downright shouty. But he still managed to make a number of gaffes, including mixing up Egypt with Mexico. As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. Man, I don't know about you, but I could sure go for a hummus enchilada right now. But anyway, I guess that's an easy sort of mistake to make. I mean, both countries have pyramids after all. Sky News All-Star Piers Morgan was left shocked after a series of blunders from Joe Biden, making everyone believe he's lost his marbles. I'm joined now by the new host of Fox News Saturday Night, the genius author of the new book, Cancel Culture Dictionary, and A to Z Guide to Winning the War on Fun, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, great to have you on the show. I want to start by playing a little clip of your president uh, this week. This one you thought he couldn't get any more ridiculous. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the, there's been a response from the opposition, but um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry. That was where he couldn't remember anything. Uh, he later then talked about having spoken to the French president Mitterrand, who died in 1996, and then he forgot the name of Hamas, Jimmy. Uh, what is going on? Now, in Biden's defense, Pierce, the press has been asking him some really tough questions lately, like, what is your name? <laughs> what do you do for a living? This is a really sad thing to watch. The worst part about the Biden clip you showed in regards to Hamas is a reporter actually helps him out. 
At one point, he goes, the opposition, and the reporter goes, Hamas, meaning, speed it up, buddy. We don't want to be all day watching you fish here. And this is the reality of what we're faced with as a country. Like, I don't make this point as a conservative, although I'm clearly a conservative. I make it as an American. We shouldn't have a president who makes the sign language interpreter shrug. But that's what happens when Biden speaks, <laughs> because from time to time, he makes up words. Well, not Here's the shrug, not the shrug but the I interpreter goes, him in... what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, you see the sign language interpreter go from signing to like Googling, okay? <laughs> and that's my problem. We, Pierce, we have a president you couldn't play in Scrabble. Yes. Because you'd be fighting the whole time. It's not a word, sir. It's not a word. Schmeckina hammer to hammer is not a word. I'm sorry. And the constant gaffes have sent the White House into damage control. Now, the White House is running for cover on this whole thing, as you can imagine, and the Wall Street Journal has reported that the White House is full of panic, fury, and blame after the whole debacle of the last few days. And even CNN, this is, by the way, how bad it's getting, CNN is doing fact-checking, finding that Biden lied at least three times during that disastrous speech and press conference. Just not true, John. Uh, this report from the special counsel includes photos. Those photos include shots of a box uh, just sitting in President Biden's Delaware garage. The special counsel described it as a badly damaged box sitting amid household detritus. So there was some material that was in cabinets uh, locked or lockable, as the president said, but all of it is certainly not. And that open, unsealed, damaged box included, according to the special counsel, highly sensitive, top secret material about the war in Afghanistan. Oh. So, serious stuff there, and tellingly, the White House has also gone the full George Orwell, not for the first or, I fear, the last time, and guess what they've done? They've deleted, they've disappeared the disastrous post-report press conference from their own <laughs> oh. YouTube channel. Wow. All this chaos has not done Joe Biden any favours, reflected in some dire polls released this week. I need 30 seconds from each of you about the path forward for Joe Biden. Um, James, it seems fairly obvious that uh, the Democrats would want to drop him, but I can show you a poll that says if there's one Democrat who can beat Trump, it's Biden. Yeah, well, they've got to do something about this because um, nobody wants him. What we're seeing here, though, is the Democrats doubling down completely and saying, oh, no, 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 we're going to go and there's nothing wrong. Now, of course, this is ridiculous. We saw the performance on Friday, our time. Um, they're going to, I think, have to swap him out and they're going to swap him out for a female governor. I think somebody like a Gretchen Whitmer, Whitmer yeah. um, I think, is going to be uh, what will get him you know, the, 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 the normal kind of candidate who will get suburban women where they need to beat Trump. I think that's going to have to be the calculus. But for the moment, he seems to be digging in. I think Jill is digging in hard on this. But you can only imagine the scenes behind the scenes when everybody in the White House would have said, Mr. President, just put out a two-line statement yeah. about this thing. And he said, no, we're going to get the press corps in and we're going to have this thing. And it turned into a disaster. And as expected, the Republicans have dug up evidence to prove Joe Biden isn't just incompetent, but he's also a hypocrite. Let's assess him against his own words. Is age a legitimate issue? It is a legitimate issue, sure it is. And I think people are going to judge it. If I were to run, I think they're going to judge me on my vitality. Can I still run up the steps of Air Force Two? Can I still run up the steps of Air Force Two? Am I still in good shape? Am I still in good shape? Am I, do I have all my faculties? America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in a uh, foot. Do I have all my faculties? Am I, uh, am I energetic? Am I energetic? I think it's totally legitimate people to ask those questions. Yeah. Not only is it totally legitimate for people to ask those questions, but also legitimate for us to draw our own conclusions.